to the resistance. It's good to see there's still heroes like us willing to stand up for what's right. Our path to victory? Convince the public to repeal that law by remaining steadfast and by showing everyone what it really means to be a hero. We got a lot of it's another government conspiracy against superheroes. Didn't they already have this plot in one of the X-Men movies? Or all of the X-Men movies? You're asking me to arrest people who risk their lives for this country every day. No, I'm ordering you to obey the will of the American people, Captain. Looks like somebody's in for a bitch slap from Captain America. This is Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2. Choose your side, the Civil War is on. There's nothing I can't cut. Talk about button mashing. That's what this game is. You run around and mangle things with superheroes. There's lots of explosions, fusion attacks that light up the screen with lasers and lightning, fire, ice storm superheroes flying every which way. The star of the game is the variety of superheroes that you can play as in Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2. This is the PlayStation 3 version. This is also on the Xbox 360, Wii, and numerous other consoles. There's lots of boss battles. They always have dramatic introductions flashing their name. Lots of cool characters I would have never actually expected to see in a video game. We're outnumbered. Work together. Smash them all at once. You can play as a variety of superheroes, and not just the big ones that you'd expect, like Spider-Man and Wolverine, but also the Fantastic Four, Captain America, Daredevil, Storm from the X-Men, Iron Man, Deadpool, Gambit, Iceman, and many more. A cool collection of superheroes, actually. The gameplay falls into the mediocre category without question. It's just a lot of button mashing, things flying all over the place. Sometimes it's hard to even tell what's going on. You just keep hitting the button and then link up with your teammates to create a massive fusion attack. As you see on screen, there's four superheroes fighting together. I'm playing a single player game here, so I'm just controlling one of them, and I can choose which other ones I'd like to control during gameplay. Ideally, you'll play this game with three of your friends, and you can have a four player game going. That's what it would be best for, because just playing it by yourself, it's kind of fun. Definitely worth a rent if you like superheroes, maybe a purchase. For me, I don't think there's a lot of depth in the gameplay, although you can spend some time with it and level your characters up, play things over and over again. You can play with your friends over, over the PlayStation Network or Xbox Live if you have the Xbox 360 version. Do you have the courage to save you? Let us see. Even though Wolverine is in this game, it's generally a far more sanitized, family-friendly game than the Wolverine Origins game I reviewed earlier in the year. This one doesn't rely on button combinations as much as it just relies on sheer button mashing and fusion attacks. The game is called Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2, and it is a lot like a comic book. It does not take itself too seriously. Well, best of luck trying to catch that maniac. Like our state motto says, Excelsior. Nice cameo. There's lots of cheesy one-liners in the game. Fusion attacks vary depending on which superhero you combine with another superhero to create a fusion attack. If you're looking for more blood and decapitations, then go for the Wolverine Origins game. But if you want to pick up a random assortment of superheroes and blow things up with them, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2 is what you're looking for. I tend to personally prefer games like the Wolverine Origins game where you play as Wolverine and try to really perfect his gameplay and master some button combinations and moves. This is the kind of game where you can get by by using the same move over and over and over again, but it does deliver good, casual, explosive superhero action. If your idea of fun is mastering Einhander, then you probably won't like this one, but if you really like superheroes and want to play as superheroes that you normally 
would not see in their own video game, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2 has that going for it. When you start the game, there's a certain number of underoos clad heroes that you can play with, and then of course you unlock the rest of them as you progress through the game. You can swap them out mid-gameplay as well, so if Mr. Fantastic is not doing a fantastic job, replace him with somebody who will. I've done some recon already. Now, that's a snazzy outfit that she's got there. You know, there's a lot of flashy outfits in this game. Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2. Where do superheroes shop? Can you buy outfits like that off the shelf, or do you have to special order them? Questions that need to be answered. Maybe that will be the plot of Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. some mistakes, but I want to do the right thing. Bishop, have you... Oh, damn it. I knew I should have supervised this off personally. You've really stepped in it now, Steve. 